holidays from the government of Grenada. The following is a message from the Honorable Elvin Nimrod, Minister for Foreign Affairs, Legal Affairs, Haraku and Pity Martinique Affairs and Local Government. As Minister for Karakou and Pitimanic Affairs and Local Government, Legal Affairs, Foreign Affairs, it is my distinct privilege and honor to extend season's greetings to the entire nation of Grenada, Karakou and Pitimanic, both here at home and abroad. As we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I am forever grateful to Almighty God for his mercies, blessings, and guidance, and for directing my path, thus allowing me to make my contributions to the people of our beloved trial and state. I wish to convey my sincere appreciation and gratitude to Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, my cabinet colleagues, and especially my constituents. I also wish to thank the staff of the three ministries under my control, diplomatic officials, development partners, and the people of Grenada, Caracol, and Pedimanic for the generous and unconditional support provided me during the past year. The conduct of our foreign affairs policy is guided by certain fundamental values, national sovereignty, adherence to principles enshrined in the United Nations Charter, protection of human rights, sustainable economic and social development, protection of the environment, and respect for international law. The foreign ministry over the last year played a key role in forging partnership that are mutually beneficial and particularly aimed at assisting the government in achieving its national development agenda. Examples are many, including the construction of our new parliament building, new housing stock, and improved human capacity through the increase of scholarships. This ministry continues to engage in resource mobilization and to represent our people and nation in the international arena and responding to challenges such as the effect of climate change. The Ministry of Caracol and Pedemonic Affairs has faced many challenges and opportunities during the past year, but as a result of good policies, talent, competence, and experience, we have achieved sustained developmental gains in providing better health care, more opportunities for higher education and training, adequate housing, song infrastructure, and social services. Our approach in the Ministry of Legal Affairs has always been guided by what is in the best national interest of the Grenadian people. Our government's commitment has resulted over the past year in completing a legislative agenda that includes nine acts, 17 amendments, and 32 statutory rules and order. We have worked to improve the functioning and structure of our courts and other administrative tribunals, thus reducing caseloads and backlog, and advancing the cause of justice. Fellow Grenadians, it is no secret that this will be my last Christmas message to you as the parliamentary representative of Caracol and P. Manic. It remains an honor and a privilege to have represented the people of Caracol and Pitimanic with dignity and humility over the last 18 years. It has been 18 challenging but fruitful and tremendously gratifying years serving you, the people of Grenada, and especially my compatriots from Caracol and Pitimanic. The development that has taken place in Caracol and Pitimanic during that period could not have been realized without the unconditional support and wise counsel of my constituents. For that, I am eternally grateful. I thank my colleagues with whom I have been privileged to share these 18 years, including members of the opposition parties. As we celebrate the spirit of Christmas, let us reaffirm our commitment to each other with peace, love, and goodwill, keeping the Christmas star shining brightly in our hearts 
as we face new challenges and opportunities in our nation building in 2018. May each and every one of us as individuals, families, and the nation experience a very enjoyable and spirit-filled Christmas and a fruitful, peaceful, and healthy 2018. May God bless you. The proceeding was a message from the Honorable Elvin Nimrod, Minister for Foreign Affairs, Legal Affairs, Karaku and Pity Martinique Affairs, and Local Government. So